Hey guys, it's me Nelly, and today I'm about to show you guys how to prepare this delicious Peruvian baked chicken. I'm gonna be baking a whole chicken and pairing it with this yummy green sauce. Alright, it's so good. So let's get started. Okay guys, so first let's prepare the marinade for the chicken, alright? So in this cup, I have some grated garlic. You want to grate some garlic. And I added in a few tablespoons of olive oil. Next, I added in some lime juice. And then I'm going to add in some seasoning. So I'm adding in paprika, ground cumin, salt, a little bit of sugar, black pepper, dried basil leaves, a little bit of oregano. And I'm gonna mix all of those ingredients together until it's well combined. So set the marinade aside and now let's work on the chicken. So I'm using a whole chicken. I already washed and cleaned my chicken. And I'm using paper towels to pat dry the chicken really well on both sides. You want it to be really dry. So remove any of that extra liquid on it from washing it. Guys, yeah, so next you want to spash cock your chicken. So basically, you're going to cut out the back of the chicken. You'll see me do it in a second. I just almost forgot to do it. So I started seasoning my chicken and then remembered and had to do it. All right. So you want to do that before you start seasoning the chicken. And I'm just good. I'm going to be using a knife. I suggest you guys use um, a kitchen shares. It'll be way much easier to do this. Okay. I just uh, have done this. A few times so it's easy for me to use a knife but if you use a kitchen shears it'll be easy and you just basically gonna cut around the spine of that back bone and remove it by doing this your chicken is gonna cook so much more faster and easier and it cuts down on all of that cooking time okay so once you've removed that bone you can open up the chicken and lay it flat okay and now you can start coating the chicken in the marinade so so yeah you guys i took the marinade and i'm just gonna rub the bird dung really well i'm using my hands to loosen the skin on top of the chicken and i'm gonna rub in between the skin in every corner of the chicken to make sure it's nicely seasoned and marinated really well because you want to marinade inside on top of the chicken as well okay and below so so make sure you rub it down really good. Give it a nice massage. Don't be scared to use your hands. You can use gloves, of course, if you need to. But make sure the chicken is nicely rubbed down. So try to use all of the marinade, okay? Also, you guys, I seasoned my chicken on top of a cutting board because it can get a little bit messy and I didn't want to do it in the dish that I'm baking it in. So, yeah, I use a cutting board. You can spread something on your countertop to do this or if you have a large enough bowl use that to uh, marinate the chicken after that I place the chicken straight into the dish that I'm going to be baking it in I sprayed the dish with some nonstick cooking spray and I placed the chicken in there covered it with some saran wrap next I place the chicken into my refrigerator to marinate for three to four hours you want to keep it in the refrigerator marinating for at least one hour but if you leave it for about four hours it'll absorb more of that flavor from the marinade when made and it'll taste way better okay okay and once it's time to cook the chicken cooking the chicken is so easy you guys anybody could do this it's really this is a really simple recipe like all you have to do is marinate the chicken down really well and then now that it's time to cook we're going to preheat our oven to 425 degrees remove the saran wrap or whatever you cover the bowl with or if you need to transfer it into a baking dish do that and leave it uncovered okay you do not want to cover the dish you want to bake it uncovered so right before i put it into the oven i sprinkled it with some parsley flakes and I put it into the oven and I baked it at 425 degrees for one hour. And that's it. Now, if you don't spatchcock the chicken and remove that backbone piece, then it'll take longer for you to cook the chicken. And you might want to cover it so it doesn't burn and all of that. But when you do it this way, you see, it's easy. One hour and 
it's fully cooked the top will be nice and golden brown like this this is how you know it's cooked okay you want the top to kind of have a nice kind of grilled sear look to it and that's it you guys so if it takes a little bit longer than one hour leave it for like maybe an hour and 10 minutes if you need to because you want that charred look on top that's the word i'm looking for charred yes you want it to be charred on top and i promise you this is the simplest most delicious recipe ever okay so when it comes out of the oven leave it to rest for about 20 minutes or so so that the juices can settle and so on so that your chicken will remain moist okay and once it cools look at that you guys it'll be falling off the bone like you could just pull it apart and serve it all right so once it cool you can use your knife carve your chicken however you do and yeah let me get ready to show you guys the delicious sauce that goes with this chicken be sure to try the sauce with it here is really well with it and this is how it's usually served so on to the sauce okay so you want to get a blender or a nutribullet whatever you use to blend your foods okay and i added a bunch of cilantro in there to that i'm adding in some lemon juice you guys don't forget check the description box down below i link everything there the ingredients and measurements for you guys there okay next I'm adding a few cloves of garlic about two jalapenos I just cut them up into smaller chunks so they'll fit in my Nutribullet and then I'm gonna add in a little bit of olive oil some mayonnaise and sour cream all right also you want to add a little bit of salt and black pepper into the um, sauce to give it taste I recommend starting with about half a teaspoon of salt and black pepper taste it and then you can adjust those seasoning as needed to fit uh, your taste buds okay so add all of the ingredients for the sauce in your blender and you're gonna blend that until it's creamy and smooth and that's it for the sauce y'all simple right and it pairs amazing with the chicken so yeah, pour the sauce into your serving bowl, carve up your chicken once it's cooled, and I serve mine with some white rice, oh my gosh, so yummy, some fried plantains, even try some avocado with this dish. You guys, if you haven't already, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel, and like this video if you enjoyed it, I really appreciate all of the support. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you give the recipe a try, let me know in the comments down below how it turned out. I appreciate hearing from you guys, the feedback on the recipes. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.